Yo, give me a dot ready, chat. Think you guys are ready? Okay. All right, here we go. On go from three. All right, countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. Both these runners now, and they both just started. So Bagley is going to start first. For open is going to be behind just by a little bit. Not much time. All right, so we got the one one here. I'm really, really, I have no idea, man. Both of these runners throw throw up mad points. Bagless take on bottom route just to be safe. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Nice. Both of them finish one one. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. All right, they're on to one two right now. Looks like the Bagler is gonna get early P speed for open. Not gonna get early P speed. Ooh, he's gonna get the wall rub. Doesn't take damage though, but did lose the random P speed. Tries to go for the slide through. He's gonna wait for the Piranha Plant and get through. Looks like beginning game jitters. Just kind of messing him around a little bit. P speed not working exactly the way he wants, but you know, there's not a whole lot he can do about that. Nice, the Bagler gonna go here. Nice, he gets the quick. Ooh, for open, gonna go for the orb jump, which means he's gonna actually catch up quite a bit. Very nice. Bagler with the movements of two. For open, also getting movements of two. The first point in this world here, We're coming up for the Bagler. The MFP tunnel, is he going to get it? And he does get it. Very nice for Bagler with the MFP tunnel. Feropen. Oh, Feropen is not going to be able to go for the tunnel. And that is a great start right there. Ooh. That is a great start right there for Bagler. All right, here we go. He's in the top section of the screen. Beep, beep. One, six. All right, Feropen is not far behind. However, he is one point behind. The Mushroom House could change it though. The Mushroom House could definitely change it. All right, Bagler's gonna have to fight the Hammer Brother first. He is gonna get the Fire Flower in the Hammer Brother battle, which means he's gonna save a little bit of time. Um, let's see if he gets, let's see if he gets the Leaf. Leaf or Flower, Leaf or Flower, and he gets... Oh, he gets the flower. That is something he did not want to see in the semifinals. Really hoping for that RNG for Ropen's turn, though. Uh, team three box is not something I'm down for, man. Team middle box, Ropen is going to go for the third one and not get it as well. Both runners are going to get the fire flower. So it looks like Bagler is going to land on the airship. At about 2.57. All right, so Feropen is behind. Let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13. He's about 14 seconds behind. How much do you guys want to bet that Team Middle Chest there would have would have been 100%, 100% leaf there? Um, what about throne jumps though? What about throne jumps? What do we? What kind of throne jumps are we dealing with? Uh, let's scroll down here because we know both runners are going to go for the spade card game. Beep, 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 beep. Bagler is going to finish up first. Oh, Froppen with no throne jump. Very interesting. I didn't think I saw any throne jumps. It's always ha it's always nice to have a double check. It's always nice to have a double check. All right, here we go. Two one first. Both runners have their fire flower. 
They definitely do not want to lose it in Worlds 2 and 3. That is a point. We also have Red Rocket. We also have the Hammer Brothers moving backwards. Um, all the runners normally get the Spade Card game out of the way after 2-1, which makes a lot, a lot of sense. Nice for open going with the frame save with the D-Lag strats. Gonna do the bottom music note. Not overly common, but we've seen a couple people use it. All right, the Bagler gonna gonna do his two two openers. Nice, got his card under control. He's gonna get the stars before he goes for the 10 bucks, which is pretty scary. He's not going for a full clear either. And let's see what Feropen does. Feropen's gonna flip over those two cards. He's gonna know exactly which one it is now. He's got the two stars. He's got the 10 bucks, very nice. I think he's gonna go for full clear. I think Feropen's done full clear before. Especially if he does it fast. Bagler not falling in the moat. And Feropen with the full clear, very nice. So both runners getting the spade. Spade card game, 10 bucks. All right, let's move back up to world two. They're gonna no mode it. Bagler with the early P speed for open, not falling in the moat either. That's good, that's good, man. It keeps the race very interesting when the runners don't make the punishment points. And then uh, there's a little bit of RNG swings here and there. Very nice. For open, I want to see if for, man, imagine for open gets a Tass early hammer here. That would be so annoying because like it's just something that never happens, and of course it would happen in a race like this, you know. So Bagler has stayed in the lead the whole time, which has been pretty good for him. Uh, no Hammer Brothers yet in this world, but he is gonna go for the Red Rocket here, which is gonna be another point. We have seen runners like almost lose specifically because of this point. A couple runners know this point very well, but still. Nice, very nice. Bagler does get it, and he stick he stays down a couple stairs there uh, to make sure. Oh my gosh, I thought for open was actually gonna get it. That's so crazy. All right, so we got uh, Red Rocket for Bagler, and it looks like Feropen has the rocket. Oh! Oh, no. Ah, oh, see? The Red Rocket. Feropen is now down by two points here. Um, And I don't know who's used their lifeline or not. I don't know who has used their lifelines. I think Feropen has and Bagler has not. All right, so Feropen needs some RNG points here. Neither runner has fought their hammer brother yet. Boomerang bro moving backwards. That's really good for Bagler. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Nice, gets really good RNG. And, oh man, I thought it was gonna move backwards, but it moves forward so close. So close. Alright, Feropen gets backwards, bro. Feropen is also very close. He needs this RNG, so he's only one point behind. This will be crazy, man. This will be crazy. The RNG swings here. And neither runner got their throne jumps, so we don't have to worry about throne jumps. Wow, there. Bagler is just screaming through this. He is not slowing down. I think Bagler had one bad race this tournament, right? And that was, I think that was his last one, was it not? Oh, and Feropen gets the RNG point of backwards bro. If only he got the red rocket, man. If only he got the red rocket, he would be back in action. And there it is, man, there it is. All right, moving on to world three points. RNG point, he definitely needed that. <sighs> uh, 
That was an intense world too, man. No, I didn't... I don't mean bad like he was a bad, like, player. I mean bad in comparison to his really, really good first race where he threw up a lot of points. He didn't do the same thing in one of his rounds. That's all. Oh, man, if he take damage. That'd have been pretty rough. Now they have to get through World 3 without taking any damage. <laughs> oh, for open almost taking damage too. That was so close. Oh, Bagler gets it. This is Big, man. This is big. All right, does for open get it? <laughs> for open gets it. No runner gets the point! The Bagler is not out of runaway range just yet. Oh, he falls under! He's not gonna take damage, though. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't go through any fish or get a weird jump here. <gasps> okay, he's in, he's in. This should be clear for him. He's in the clear, very nice. Uh, quite a bit of a slowdown there. Fropen should be able to catch up. Fropen is... Oh, Runaway is not close for him. Fropen goes for the P-Speed. Ooh, he's going to catch up a lot here. He's easily going to catch up by a solid 10 seconds or so. <gasps> Over jumps. Lands back on the turtle. He is safe. He is safe. Okay, he's in there. All right, Bagler is very close to Runaway, which is an RNG point. That would really, really help him stay in the lead. Because it looks like Fropen is not quite there. Oh, Hammer Brothers are moving up now! Ooh, <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. Oh, and Bagler gets Runaway, bro! Bagler is gonna get a benefit there. Let's see if he gets Door 4, or if he's not gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. Door 4! Does not get Door 4. I think Feropen got Door 4 in one of his previous races as well. Oh! The double the double runaway for both these runners. For open gonna go for door four here. Ah! Oh, he gets door four! And just like that, look at how far he's caught up already. Door four right there. For open gets runaway. We are neck and neck even. Bagger is gonna avoid the hammer there, and for open does not get runaway. Ooh, that's pretty rough. He's gonna try and go for music box list here though. Uh, that's going to be really good for him. That's going to be an opportunity to save a P-Wing. Uh, something that he can use later in the run. These runners are neck and neck now. Very close to each other. The slightest slip up. Who knows what the points are going to be in time. And Bagler's Hammer Brother is in a perfect position for him not to worry about it. Oh! What's he going to do? He's got a music box. He does not want to deal with it. Honestly, stick to the script in this kind of situation, right? Just stick to the script, put him to sleep, right? I mean, he could have fought the hammer, then got Runaway, which been a, which would have been a pretty clutch move, but he doesn't have the time lead to really play around with that idea. So yeah, just stick with the script, put him to sleep, and get him out of there. All right, both runners getting the H jump. Very nice. Oh, as long as he doesn't take damage there, that was scary. Like I was instantly thinking like, if he takes damage, 
That's another thing against them. Very nice, very nice. That Hammer Brothers running around. Running around like crazy. Very close. All right, so the Bagler is still in the lead of time, but that was an insane, insane World 3 right there. It's looking like it's going to be 9 to 8. It's looking like it's going to be 9 to 8 right here. Insane, man, insane. Yeah, so if you guys want to know exactly how far ahead behind Feropen is, all you have to do is only use Bagler's time, essentially. Alright, so if you look at when Bagler enters the pipe, and then whatever Bagler's time is, watch that time whenever Feropen gets in the pipe as well. Alright, so let's see what we're dealing with. Bagler's gonna enter the pipe at... What, 1613? Nope, about 16, 12. Oh no, Bagler can't afford to take damage here. Oh. And 1622, so about 10 seconds behind, yeah. For Feropen and Bagler. And Feropen and Bagler both. No lost Fire Flower from Worlds 2 and 3. Moving on to World 4, 9 to 8 right now. Anyone's game. This is exactly what we want from semifinals, guys. Yeah, that's crazy. Both runners have different things. Yeah, that's crazy. Alright, moving on to World 4. Bagler's gonna start. 4-1 first. Let's see if he gets bottom path. This point has messed with a lot of people. But very easy for him. No struggle. Hopefully Feropen also has no issues here. Gonna go for the big jump. Get the P-speed. He's gonna go a bit slow here, but he does get it. Very nice for both of our runners. Keeping up the points. No messing around. All right, Marathon. No Marathon there, obviously, as you can see both Hammer Brothers. So being as there's no Marathon, let's go over to Feropen's audio. We don't want to miss a thing here. All right, we can't see the Hammer Brothers, so we're going to use Feropen's audio. Bagler, we can see. Nice, go for the despawn. Bagler's Hammer Brothers is in a movement of four. One, two, three, four, that's right. For opens with a movement of two. Very nice for Bagler. Very clean, um, what, four, three? I think for both runners so far. Oh, that strat is so awkward, but it works for him. Very nice. Very nice. Bagler is going to get a movement of one. A movement of one means he could get a marathon here. Well, let, let's, let's listen to for opens. No, nope, moving to two right there and we can see for opens. Oh, Bagler takes some damage here. While for open is going to use the star, is he going to catch up a lot here? Oh my goodness. Is he going to catch up with a fire kill? <laughs> oh my goodness! Something as small as a fire kill. Look at that catch up. That is crazy. Bagler's gonna get another movement of one. Man, Bagler is in a tough spot here. Now, uh, Feropen is in a little bit of a better situation, but they're both kind of strangled here um, with the cloud not getting the P speed on the top as well. Oh, Feropen gets the no throw. Very nice. Oh, he goes for the duck. I would have gone for like the... Nice, nice, okay. He's in the clear. It was a little slow considering what was going on, but not much he could do about that. 
All right, Bagler, what's he gonna get? Another movement of one? Ooh, this is just awful for him. Although he's in a position where he can get... Ooh! They're both in a good position, but Bagler might get an extra Hammer Brother here, not of his own choice, and he didn't! Wow, and they set up in a great position. Same for Feropen, and just like that, they're right there, neck and neck, going for the duck points here. Duck, duck, they're both duck. Oh, Bagler gets a stop here. D loses his P speed. He's going slow, he doesn't know what to do here. Feropen definitely takes the lead. Begler in an awkward position. Oh, he's gonna get the P speed! Oh, wow, insane! Talk about earning it, man. Talk about earning it. Both runners gonna get the duck point, but Feropen is going to take the lead in time. That's a hard working point. That's right. Not gonna get the P speed though, so he's gonna lose a little bit more time here. What a panic, man. If, if Bagler lost that, they'd be tied in points while Feropen has the lead. He would have lost. He would have lost all of the lead just from that, but instead he didn't. They are now tied up. Bagler in second place while Feropen's in first, so they are tied right now for points. We're gonna be moving on to World 5. First, we gotta go through the most boring auto scroller in the game. What do you guys think so far of the race? What do you guys think so far? Time to refill your sodi pop. Most boring auto scrollers, Viz. No way, 1-4 you can at least play like with blocks and turtle shells and coins and stuff. This one, there's nothing to do. Yeah, 1-4 one is, one is not too bad. Yo, Windflash Dragon, welcome back for 29 months, thank you very much. I think if I put White Mushroom House Point in a points tournament, I don't think people will go for 1-4 for it. I think most people will do 2-2. Two, two. Excuse me. Or 7-2 and use the frog suit, which makes sense. Yo, Sony Slave, welcome back for 15 months. Thank you very much. Or 4-2. Yeah, 4-2 would be... Yeah, 4-2. Yeah. Yeah, probably 4-2, actually. 4-2 would probably be the fastest. All right. Feropen's going to be first. Goes to the fire kill, very nice. Nice! Boom! 23-13 for Feropen's time. Bagler a little worried! Does get the fire kill though. He's about 14 seconds behind or so, I think. It's about 14 seconds behind, I'd say. When the MFP hot tub stream. All right, 10 and 10, only because Feropen's in the lead right now. We took the point away from Bagler. He's gonna use the P-Wing and they're off, man. Start of World 5. World 5 is a big, big world, man. There's a lot of points. There's a lot of swings. There's a lot of scary stuff. Semi-finals, are we gonna see more people not go for 5-4 big jump at the end? That's a double point swing. We know Feropen has learned his lesson from round one not to get Fire Flower early in this world, so... So is there going to be like a big change? Like, I don't think he's going to use it here. He does get a movement of four, though, right away. He does get a movement of four right away. All right, we're going to listen for Bagler, see if he gets a movement of four. Bagler also getting a movement of four, and Feropen is going to go for 282. He's going to go for 282 here. Let's see if he gets it. He doesn't go for Flutter, but he goes for the Duck Jump. No damage. He takes damage on the plant this time. 
Does the jump. 284 on the pipe. He looks good. Now it's Bagler's turn. Oh, no. He didn't get the jump. Wow. I don't know if that... Man. I don't know if he should have got that. That's crazy. He did the run off the pipe, which is fine, I guess. Two movements of four already for Feropen. Two movements of four already for Feropen. 282 for both of our runners. The Bagler, also two movements of four from both of our runners. This is crazy. All right, here we go. Both runners with the 282. Both runners with two movements of four. This is good. And both runners think that they're probably in the lead with the amount of points they have. All right. For open with a movement of two, not quite a movement of four here. He is going to go for the P-Wing. This is going to be much different than what the Bagler does here. Interesting. I think he's in a situation where it's free. Bagler is going to catch up. These guys are going to be neck and neck right here. Wow. And that's it right there. Movement of two for both of them. Neither runner getting the movement of four. Bagler has a higher chance, though, to get a movement of four, being as both of his bottom bros in the map are still alive. So Feropen's going to be struggling here. I don't see Feropen getting the point now. We'll see, though. We'll see. Nice strat for Feropen to keep that P-Speed primed right there. That's exactly... Yep, exactly. Jumps right into the wall, then goes up into the pipe. Kind of like how you would wall boost to get your uh, P-Speed. Very interesting. But look at these neck and neck, man. Nice! Finally! All right, so he needs two very, very important movements if he wants to get it. All right, this is it, man. This level has controlled so many races! Comes to a dead stop. They are neck and neck right here. Does a quick turn back, and they both get it. Wow! Big Koopa jump for both of them. Oh, man, look at this run. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Who's going to get P-Speed? Who's not going to get P-Speed? Froben gets a good move, but Bagler gets a bad move. Froben with the Fire Flower here. Oh, and he loses the Fire Flower. Doesn't get early P-Speed. A two-point swing. Why would he do that? Just use a star. Damn, man, that is rough, dude. Wow, and just like that. And he's lost the lead, too. He is no longer in first place. He's four points behind now. He's four points behind. Why would you do that? That's rough, man. And no movements of four. The Bangler still hasn't got his other movement of four, but that's another thing. Yep, so Feropen can no longer get a movement of four. Well, he's already lost his Fire Flower, so he doesn't have to worry about losing it again, I guess. And Bagler not getting movements of four yet. He's still not getting movements of four. All right. Whoa, that was close to the Potaboo. There's not a whole lot going on here. Still not a movement of four for Bagler, man. He needs that movement of four. He's behind by one. Going for that early P speed on Feropen side. He does get it, very nice. A little over a 10 frame time save. Pretty good. Catching up. Can't deny it. Oh, Bagler it could not... Bagler could not secure that movement of four. He just couldn't get it. He did get two, though. All right. They're still very close. They're still very close, man. But what happened there, guys? What happened? Uh, 
I don't know why Feropen didn't use the star there. Maybe he's got to save his stars for later. Later, I'm not sure, but that is... Man, oh man, that is a big swing. He got hit, he got hit with the shared point. He got hit with the loss of Fire Flower, and he got he got hit with um go, getting in, going in second place. That's just oh, that's so big. That's what she said. But I mean, she said it. That's big, man. That's rough. We'll see how it goes, man. It's it happens. Bangler could lose Fire Flower here too, but I highly doubt it, man. He knows how to fight these bosses. Very good at it. All right. Lots can go. Lots can go here. The Bagler is... Oh, shoot. The Bagler is behind a music box here, actually. Right? The Bagler got a music box in World 2. He didn't have the music box in World 3, but he did use a music box in World 5. But... He didn't get the music, or he didn't use a music box or get it in World 5 as well. He didn't get both of them. Hmm. Hmm. This could be big. All right. The Bagler is going to be the first one to enter World 6. Let's see how it goes here. His first pattern is going to be low pattern. Very nice. Low pattern, low pattern. All right, and for open with the high pattern. Nice, Bagler taking it very safe there. He does not want to mess up. Oh, for open, that was so scary, but he does survive though, not a big deal. He does make it, man. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's getting a little shot with the nerves with what's been going on um, in World 5 there. That's, he knows he he lost uh, two points there. He doesn't know for sure that he lost the early peace speed share point, but you'd have to imagine everyone's coming up with consistent ways of doing it. So, Bagler got low, Feropen got high. So, we have to see what the other Hammer Brother movements do here. We don't have to worry about marathons or anything like that. They're both at the same level, so they're both very close to each other. This could definitely come down to clips, wall jumps. I mean, there's just so much garbage uh, that can happen in this game. No early P speed. Uh, no coin ships, it look like. Feropen's kind of close to a coin ship, but I think he's in the clear. All right, Bagler against the, the right hammer brother, and he gets high, so he gets high and low. Very nice. This is just not looking good right now. This is very tough. Feropen gonna use his P wing. Bagler also going to use his P-Wing. I think that is Bagler's last music box. So if the Hammer Brother moves right for Bagler, this could be rough here. Oh, he gets the despawn. He's going to be able to catch up and save more time on Feropen here. Wow, because he is one Hammer Brother ahead as well. Hopefully the Hammer Brothers switch here. Yes, they do. He's got to go up. He's got a music box. He's got a hammer. All right, so the Bagler has to do... Oh, Feropen got low pattern. He got high and low as well. Wow, crazy, dude. The reverses. Feropen's got two extra music boxes. So Bagler is actually behind by a level now. Like I said, that's exactly what I was saying in World 5. He skipped the music box in case this happened, and now he has to do the extra level. Uh, for opens, oh, he's going a little slow here. I think it's getting to him, man. He, uh, I think it's getting to him. All right, three, six, eight for these guys. All right, neither runner with the no star in their inventory. Very nice. Now we'll see what happens. Is it going to be wall jumps? Dude, if somebody gets the clip, though, this would be insane. Nice. Going to take damage. We'll see who gets the wall jump here. Is he going to go back? He's not going to go back to the pipe for the manipulation. Oh, the bagger gets it first try. Insane. Broken's going to go back for sub-pixel manipulation. This is 100% worth it. Wow, the, the hill like pushes you down one when you move left one pixel? Like, I don't even know what that was. 
But it, he could get the wall jump here. He should be able to get it here. Oh, and he gets it! No sheared point! That is clutch, man! That is what you want to see! Dude, that saves him, man! That definitely saves him! Bagler is gonna go for the clip here. They both have capitalized on the shared points. Oh, the Bagler does not get the clip here for open. Going to equip a mushroom. He's not gonna have that slowdown. If he gets the clip, he's not only gonna get two extra points here, but he's gonna catch up in a lot of time. Remember, Bagler has to do an extra Piranha Plant stage in World 7. Oh! <laughs> no way, dude! No way! What is this game right now? Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? That is exactly what we wanted, man! Go for open! Go! Just, just go! All right, he's in there. He's in there. Wow. 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 All right, we're getting a lot of questions. Okay, um, so one person so far has gotten the 643 clip and one person so far has gotten all of the throne jumps. So now two people have gotten the 643 clip. Dude, man, Furo has gotta be <clears throat> like, this is crazy because Oh my god, I don't even know. I'm just gonna watch. Uh, Teeks actually- no, uh, so Teeks got, um, all thrown jumps, Ibuba got 6.4.3, and Feropen has gotten 6.4.3. Alright, Bagler and Feropen both have Fire Flower. Bagler's gonna go for very comfortable fire kill that's very, very much like, uh, Wendy. And let's see, I think Feropen might do the same thing here. Yes, very nice fire kill. Um, Feropen is going to do, uh, guaranteed 100% sub- I don't think he meant to do that. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. All right. Yeah, Feropen prefers Duck Clip, and I don't think he wanted to grab the one that fast. I think he wanted to do the guaranteed subpixel zero. All right. Bagler gonna get this first try, right? No, 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 no. Oh no, wasted attempt. Oh, the, and the for open. <laughs> no, man, this is nuts. They are so close to each other. All right, here we go. No bonks on the overworld map. Bagler has to do the extra piranha plant, that's right. It's like Feropen's chasing him in the level, I love it, it looks so cool. Oh, we got a pipe to pipe? Oh, double pipe to pipe! Double pipe to pipe, you love to see it. No bonks yet. All right, we're in the punishment level. Don't punish yourself, guys, here. This level is... Ooh, Bagler is a close call there. Once you get that first jump, it, all the other jumps line up, so this should be pretty easy for these runners right here. We're open with a snap turn back there. All right, looking good. All right, looking good, looking good. No bonks. No bonks for me, the runner, yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, it's all up to this. Oh, Propens meters go down. Oh, Bagler doesn't get it. 
This is what needs to happen, right? Jump, takes damage, very nice. Oh, they're both going for the constant, 183 versus not 183. Wow. Okay, they both went for the same sub-pixel manipulation. For open, not feeling comfortable. Oh! The Bagler goes for the other side. Bagler doesn't get a first try. Oh, neither runner! Bagler accidentally went inside the level. No way is he prepared to go through this level. He has power-ups, man. Take the death, right? Am I, am I wrong? Does he not have power-ups? Does he? Does he have a mushroom or a fire flower? Just take the death, equip the fire flower. I don't know. Oh, a death is a point. That's right. That's not worth it. Don't go for the death. Don't listen to me, Bagler. I don't know what I'm talking about. You're doing the right thing, bud. Although that is a, an... A, I bet that never happened to Bagler once in practice. I bet it didn't happen once in practice. Oh my gosh, that is way too scary what, what Fropen does there. It seems to work pretty well for him, though. Gets his P-Speed back. Yeah, that's, a, that's like an auto-scroller, man. He definitely was not expecting that. Uh, no bonks yet from either runner. And Feropen is going to go for the hammer suit strategies. Uh, the Beckler is also going to get uh, hammer suit stuff here as well. Very nice for Feropen. Very nice for Feropen. That was an incredible, incredible hammer suit level. And just like that, Feropen is out of there. No bonks, but he did not get clipped first try. <sighs> Bagler is also going to cloud here. This is rut. This is scary, man. What was that? Why did he lose his P-Speed? Alright, looking pretty good. Bagler is in second place, though. Bagler doing very safe strategies. I love it. Very nice. He does have to do the Piranha Plant stage, though. He has a star, which is good. I don't know how far I don't know how far behind the bagler is right now. No bonks, no bonks for Bagley, but he didn't get the 183. Unfortunate, man. All right, all comes down to world 8, guys. We are in auto scroller land, so we do have a little bit of time here. Bagler not using his lifeline. But you have to remember, Bagler, after this first game, if Ropen does take the win, Bagler is going to use his lifeline in the second game. So we can pretty much chalk this up to 17-17. Feropen entered the pipe at 44-12. 44-12 on Feropen's time here. Enters the pipe. We have a thousand donated by 
Oh. Dude, don't trick me like that. I thought I thought he actually did. That's that'd be crazy. That'd be the tournament almost paid for. That'd be great. I'd love that. It'd be amazing. Alright. For open continuing auto scroller land. Literally a whole lot of nothing going on with both of our runners. Um yeah, Bagler's at about the one minute mark. Oh, that's rough, man. Bagler's behind by a minute and something. Like I said, I bet Bagler never went in that level in practice. Never went in that level in practice. He, he dealt with that level pretty well. Yep, and not getting that music box in World 5. He, he had to use the music box in World 6, right? That's a rough go. That's a rough go. Right? It, it, he, he made a gamble, right? Because he got lucky in World 3 by not having to use the music box. Saved it, but then used two... But then got the music box in... 5-1, but used the music box in World 4 and in World 5, and then didn't use the music or grab the music box in the clouds in World 5 from the Hammer Brother. And that, that's kind of what set him back the additional 10 seconds, right? Because he skipped the he skipped the music box, so he saves the 10 seconds. And if the Piranha Plant stage takes 20, right, then he only lost 10 from it. So... He also lost a solid five or six seconds compared to Feropen in the Fortress as well because uh, Feropen's was really, really clean. We're talking like world record um, doesn't get any better than that clean where Bagler had a little slip up in the top section in the Fortress in World 7. I don't know what happened there. He lost his P-Speed and then he had kind of had to make it work from there on out. I think he lost more than six seconds, Maybe like closer to 10. But now for you guys to predict on the hands. Now for you guys to predict on the hands. Uh, that schedule is a little wrong. Um, I wouldn't rely on that schedule right now. I'll get a more updated fix on my schedule and stuff like that once I get back into the the groove of speedrunning. Uh, which should be any day now. It should be any day now. Uh, Feropen is not on sub-54 pace, no. Or maybe he is, I actually wouldn't know. I don't think so, though. This tournament has already seen way too many no-hands. Way too many. Uh, Bagler has not used his lifeline. He, like I said, he's definitely gonna wait to see. For open, about to add another no hands total. Yeah, we'll see. What is this, man? What is this? All right, Bagler, no hands, bud. Come on. Dude, Feropen could actually fall off. Th this is the scariest because if he falls off the ship, he's got to cross the hands again. I should keep watching and try and learn something. Two no hands? I don't know, man. Oh, hand one, yeah, n definitely not. It's 
Still has his hammer suit, though. Oh, two hands. Two hands is, like, extremely standard. All right, for open is one level away from his combo point here. One level away from his combo point. And he got it. Very nice. Combo point. The Bagler needs to make sure he keeps his hammer suit and gets the combo point as well. Feropen could potentially die here going for conveyor P speed. You have to jump early on the conveyor, so let's see what happens here. He does get conveyor P speed. He's just making it harder and harder for Bagler here. All right, Bagler is finally almost past all of the auto-scroller garbage here. Nice, very nice jump on those ledges there. But I think Feropen is actually in sub-54 range. I'm pretty sure. He is definitely in sub-54 range. So that is going to make it very difficult for Bagler. Bagler has to get these combo points, man. He has to. He's got to get as many points. Because we're about to have another two points added on to Feropen here. Very nice, Bagler. Yes! The harder level of the combo points, 8-1 is definitely the harder one. 5-2 is not difficult at all. It's difficult without the hammer. Well, not really. You take the top path. <clears throat> Alright, Bagler, come on. Then you can have 17, and then you can have 18, and then it could be 21 to 18, which is still... <gasps> okay, okay, you're still good? Did you hit the sun? He did hit the sun. Very nice. Very nice. That was scary. He does get the point, though. He needed that. Man, he got, he got a good pattern. with. If he didn't get that good pattern with the sun, he could have lost it. Now he's got to take it slow here for open not getting the overkill. Feropen needs, needs not choke here for potentially losing two points. Bagler with a different kind of, wow, a different kind of conveyor speed. He does get it though. That's exactly what he needs to do. And like I said, as long as Feropen, no choke here. He can't afford to take damage either. All right, here we go. Last room, statue P speed. And he's got it, he's got it. No choke percent right there. Whoops, there you go, 21 to 18. Whew. 21 to 18. Give a GG to for open guys. He's gonna finish with a 53-35. Very, very good race. 53-35. The Bagler can see that he's done, but he doesn't know how many points he has. It's not yet. 21 to 18 is still anyone's game. That is a man, that is a crazy comeback considering the fact. Um Feropen had that triple point swing. Not getting early P speed in 5-6, or sorry, 5-5, five, five, losing Fire Flower, and losing the lead there. So that two, well, I guess since he won in time, that was a two point swing, right? So that two point swing plus 6-4-3 had he not got that, right? He could have had a 23 point game here. Alright, Bagler going to finish up here. Bagler is not going to go into 7-6 again. Nice. 
face. Nice clip. Let's go, Bagley. Let's go. Not a huge fan of that that style of stair climb, but a lot of runners do do it, so... I'm the odd man out when it comes to that one. And Bagley's gonna finish off with a... a 55 high. Very, very nice, guys. Give a GG to Bagler with the 55. Damn. 21 to technically 19 because Bagler is going to use his lifeline where Feropen does not. Damn. All right, get ready. Let's let them take a quick little break there. All right, let's, what are, what are the points here? What do we got? We got 21 to 18. Any exclamations? Type exclamation tournament, Meek. Uh, it'll have all the rules there. You'll read the uh, the Google Doc rules that will teach you uh, about how the points work. All right, how'd you guys feel about that first race? That was incredible. That was incredible, guys. Yo, guys, give a huge shout out, guys. Give a huge shout out to BTL Makes, guys, for doing all the artwork for the tournament, including all the ads that we've been posting, all the overlays, man. They have been incredible, man. Big shout out to BTL Makes, man. He's been killing it. Yeah, he's been great, man. He literally came out of nowhere at the right time, man, and just became my artist, and ever since, he's been amazing. Man, that accidental 7-6, holy crap. I I guarantee Bagler's gonna use his lifeline here. There's no way he's not, right?
Yeah, he's down. So no matter what, he should just use the lifeline instantly. I mean, it's not like it's not like he's going to be able to use it in the final if he if he loses the first race here. Right. And, and like if Bangler wins by one point, then strategically not using his lifeline throughout the entire tournament until this point to help him get in the lead is is amazing. Um, so if he uses his lifeline right away, I'm just going to quickly go to the to the points here and just adjust it to 19 instead of 18. That's right. If for open, if for open wins here, whoever wins this match is guaranteed money. I forgot about that. I, I haven't mentioned that yet. Whoever wins this race, this match is guaranteed money. That's right. They already did race one. That's right. Yes, type exclamation tournament. There, there has been a massive miscommunication when these two runners were doing the race tonight, and it's just completely, uh, it just, it just got completely messed up. But tomorrow's race is set in stone. Better use it now. That's right, right. Holding on to the lifeline. And what's funny is that Feropen you accidentally used his lifeline at the wrong time. Uh, Teeks plays iBooba tomorrow. Yeah, so for Open, I think not fully understanding exactly when to use the lifeline, used it in his last race when he was already guaranteed the win. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so he he doesn't have a lifeline. He could. What time tomorrow? Type exclamation tournament and the schedule and stuff is all there. All righty then. The lifeline is at any point during a race. You have to use it during a race. You are allowed one point throughout the entire tournament. So if you use it in your first race and you win, you can't use it anymore for the rest of the tournament. All right, just give me a second. I'll be right back, guys. Got to prolong it.
The stress of this race, guys. The stress of this race. All right, you guys ready? Is everyone in chat ready? Is everyone in chat ready? I'm ready. Yep, I need to go pee, pet the cats for good luck. I don't know why I need good luck. Okay. On. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, I think Bagler is gonna start first. That's right, Froppen's gonna be behind. Not by a lot, though, so that's pretty good, man. So 21, and, um... Being as you can't see your opponent's points during the race, like, I, I don't see why Bagler wouldn't just instantly use his lifeline. Like, I've got Discord open, just in case he instantly uses it. And then I'll be ready to edit it. I'll be ready to edit it, but we'll see. Maybe he'll wait for an auto-scroller. All right, so far both runners doing what they know they can do. Uh, for open getting early P speed this time, so we're not gonna see any kind of slip up. But I think he is gonna go for the waffle jump in the fortress, which could lead to a big, um, big downplay in time. Nice, uh, Bagler not having to do a turn back, being as he got mushroom in level one, already did it. For open gets the movement of one, takes the slight lead here. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. And that, there it is. Oh, I was gonna switch the audio, but it looks like both runners the same thing. That is, we have not seen that happen to both runners at the same time. We have not seen that happen to both runners at the same time before. Bagler gets the movement of one, where Froben gets the movement of two. The reversey, the reversey already. There's already been, been some lead swapping two times so far. Bagler gonna go for the MFP tunnel. Is he gonna get it? He does get it. Froben does not get the MFP tunnel. Another opportunity for Bagler to get an extra point on Froben. Bagler gonna do the extra hammer, brother. Not a fun place to fight this bro. However, in the points tournament, not a problem, because you go from the Mushroom House every time. So you get the same battle pretty much every time. All right, nice for open getting the early P-Speed here, Bagler. Is Bagler not gonna use his lifeline because he got MFP Tunnel? That would be a very bad decision. Wait, for open! Why didn't you get the fire flower? Maybe that affects his hammer brother. Oh, the third chest not working. Oh, no runner going for middle chest. And that's why, man. All right, Bagler gets thrown jump. For open also gets thrown jump. Both runners getting a thrown jump here. Nice. Bagler still no lifeline. Why? Use it. Team mid-chest being failed by both these runners. It's already been a good deal of back and forth. Yup, 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 yup. 
Bagler used that lifeline, man. If Bagler used his lifeline and he's got the extra MFP tunnel point, then he's at 20 to 21 and he's in the lead. So they're tied. They'd be, if he used his lifeline right now, they'd be tied in points. They'd be tied. Is he waiting for a mistake to use the lifeline? Would he actually dare to not use the lifeline until he makes a mistake? That makes no sense. The stress of this tournament, I'm glad I'm not in it. Ooh, the bump on the overworld map. Yeah, get those bumps out now. All right, Bagler gonna get his box out. He knows that the 10 there gets it instantly. He's gonna go for a couple stars. He's gonna gain more of a lead on Feropen because Feropen is gonna go for the full clear. Bagler just gets an extra star and a fire flower. That is it. Whereas Feropen likes to go for the full clear. I'm not 100% sure why the full clear is needed, especially since Feropen did not use the star in 5-5 for early P-Speed with that two point swing, use the fire flower instead. No moat falling for Bagler here. All right, back up. Both runners getting that point. Let me double check. Pretty sure I marked down for, but yeah, I marked down for. I marked down for. All right. Ooh, Bagler, is he going to get a no death early hammer? That would be, uh, that'd be insane. See, the problem with getting early hammer in World 2 is that you use your hammer in World 2 instead of using it in World 4 and skipping the Hammer Brothers in World 3. So then you're stuck in a weird position. And both runners getting early P-Speed at the start of the Fortress. Um, not easy to do under pressure. We've seen a lot of runners stomp on the Dry Bones and uh, rebuild it, but this case, not gonna happen. Alright, here we go. Nope. First Hammer Brother from Feropen. Bagler gonna go for... Nice, he does get it. Oh man, imagine he clipped the block there, that would've been rough. Feropen gonna fight his first Hammer Brother here, what is he gonna get? Well, Bagler, oh, he gets forward, bro, not gonna get the RNG point. Feropen, or sorry, Bagler gets the Red Rocket, and Feropen does not get the RNG point. Very nice. Red Rocket there for Bagley. And Feropen messed up. Red Rocket last time. Is he going to mess it up this time as well? He doesn't have the RNG point to back him up here, which is exactly what happened last time. And Bagler has not fought any Hammer Brothers yet, but it looks like Feropen has it under control. He is going to get the Red Rocket strat this time. Very nice. Mm, for open caught in an awkward situation. Which direction does he go? And Bagler Hammer Brothers made it very easy for him to decide where he needs to go. He also gets forward moving, bro. No RNG point for either runner. All right. Yep, Bagler's Hammer Brothers is going to move up. He is, however, going to do the harder level, though. So this is a little scary. No duck jump in there as well. That's, that's... Oh, no! He takes the damage! That is exactly what we didn't want to see. That is going to be a big swing at some point. You know, I use that boomerang bro all the time and it doesn't, that doesn't, I think because Bagler hesitated a bit. Damn, so he's not going to get that RNG point, or sorry, he's not going to get the no damage point for world two and three there. Maybe that's the mistake that Bagler needed to prompt him to use the lifeline, who knows? But that is an unfortunate mistake. Was that enough to put him behind in time? Oh, that might be. <laughs> use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. All right, Feropen needs to fight his second Hammer Brother while Bagler is just gonna finish the world. 
Is he gonna get thrown jump though? He does get thrown jump, very nice. Another thrown jump, that's two for two. Fropen, does he also get thrown jump? Oh, he misses it. So Fropen is out of the thrown jump game. Still no lifeline for Bagler. Well, he is going to get his Fire Flower back there, which is pretty good. Froping dicking around here. I, don't, I wouldn't be dicking around, man. It's semifinals. All right, Bagley is gonna finish World Two first. Whoop! Nah, oh, he's good. Lost a little bit of time there. Bagley's gonna be the first one to go for the first frame jump in World 3. Does he get it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, these guys are like twins, man. One is done for Bagler. This is going to be an important level, too. Early P speed versus not. Bagler is close to runaway range, though. He's going to go for early P speed. Didn't work out the way he wanted last time. He actually fell in the water, but this time he did not. Feropen gets the movement away from runaway. You hate to see it, man. That is a big hate to see a moment. Feropen also gets the early P speed. The Bagler is out of coin ship range as well. And it looks like both runners are in the clear. Very nice. Very nice. Ropen is just further and further away from Runaway. Oh, Bagler is kind of close to Coin Ship. But he's not going to fight the Hammer Brothers, so he should be in the clear. Oh, man, these runners. Very close to Coin Ship range. Bagler is close to Runaway again, dude. Door four time. Is he even going to waste time on door four? He's going to go for door four. Oh, and he doesn't get door four. Last time Feropen got door four. Is he going to get it again? Oh, Feropen does not get door four. Very nice. The twins, man, the twins. The Bagler does not get Runaway, bro. He just cannot get it, man. Come on. Not many RNG points have worked out in Bagler's favor here. It's been a little close, but what do you get? He got Runaway last time. That was about it. Fropen not really getting good RNG either. AKA bad RNG in a normal speedrun, but... Uh, so bad. All right. Both runners are not. Oh, he's oh, he's going for the greed, man. He's going for the greed. Time wise, this is not. I don't think this is worth it for open avoiding the music box usage. And Bagler does not get runaway, but he can screen scroll past him. Avoid using a music box. He's going to cloud 
auto scroller and come back. He went for the greed and he got punished. We were hoping that he didn't get punished, but he did, unfortunately. It happens, man. That was a greedy play, but whatever, you know, you gotta take chances, right? Right, fighting the Hammer Brother and doing 3-7 is probably still a solid 20 second time loss, even though you are skipping the Fortress in World 4. Um, it's still, a, it's still probably a 20 second or so time loss. Um, but, like I said, I don't think that was a bad play for Bagler. It was greedy, but it wasn't a bad play. He had to do something to try and give him maximum amount of points. He had to do something. He had to do something. Okay, is he gonna use his lifeline now though? So Feropin has not lost his Fire Flower yet, um, and that's going to tie them up this game. Bagler, three throne jumps in a row, man. He's investing. He's investing in two points. Does Bagler actually have nine points right now? That's the question. That's the question. As long as Feropin doesn't lose his Fire Flower here, which I don't think, like... It's It's like a one in a million thing. Yeah, not not happening, but he does get it. 7 to 7 this race. Uh Feropin is in the lead for time, so we're looking at it like this. Um, nope. Ooh, that's a rough world three for Bagler. He tried to get go for something. Rough world three. He's gonna gain some time back by skipping that fortress, though. He's gonna say he is definitely gonna gain some time back. No lifeline yet from Bagler. Imagine losing by one point and not using your lifeline to tie it up. Or no, imagine tying. And losing by time. Oof. All right. We're going to move on to Feropen's audio here. Nice. And he does He does get the bottom P-Speed strat. Still no lifeline from Bagley. Nice for open with a despawn. Boom. He's out of there. All right, Bagley. Time to bring it back, dude. Time to bring it back. Come on. Come on. Make it. Make it hard for for open. Yeah, you grab that shell. That's right. Yeah. Oh, was that a marathon? Was that more than mo that was more than four? That was more than four for sure. Right, he went down, up, and then they swapped and he went back. We're gonna need confirmation. We're gonna need confirmation that that was more than four. Judges, judges, that's right. It was six, right? Pretty sure that was six. And the Hammer Brother switched on him, so he's in an awkward situation here. Using a star and a music box.
Ooh, Bagler. He's gonna have to rebuild P Speed. Very nice. But Bagler not quite getting a marathon yet. You can see that Bagler's not too far behind. Oh, movement of four there. So yeah, Bagler's behind by about a level here. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, Feropen could be forced here to fight the P-Wing as well, which could give Bagler another opportunity to bring some time back. All right, is this the P-Wing or is this the Cloud? I think this is the Cloud. Oh, it's the P-Wing! That's exactly what I was talking about. Yep, and now he's got to chase the cloud. So if the cloud goes down and to the right, more map movements, you'd be surprised how much time that wastes. He's going for all the duck jumps here. Bagler's got his cloud for up and going all of the duck jumps, and he does nail it. Wow, full clear world six. That's incredibly hard to top. Bagler in a position. Now it is his turn to go for all ducks. The Hammer Brother does go left. Or sorry, right and then left. Pretty good. Bagler not having a slip up this time. Not gonna lose too much time here. These runners again are very close to each other. Gets all the duck jumps. Very nice. Time to put you to sleep. And there we go. Very nice for Bagler. Saves it after he does the stair rub. Very nice. For up and enters at 2103. They're very close to each other. Uh, neither runner used a music box in World 3, but they used it in World 4. Still no lifeline from Bagler. Nope, no lifeline from Bagler yet. He's gonna watch, he's gonna watch this back and be like, Mitch, I already planned to use it in World 8. Like, stop. <laughs> he's gonna have to listen to it. All the playback. Whatever, Bagler, okay? This airship, so, so lovely. God, the, even this race two is insane. Bagler's not too far behind. He tried to get some extra points, some RNG points, unfortunately. It's funny, cause like technically he got good RNG in World 3, right? He didn't get Runaway. Runaway is bad RNG, so it's, um. All right, let's see how this goes for Froppen. Looking pretty strong, looking good. It would be it would be pretty rough to be the best runner in the tournament, but like lose constantly uh, to RNG points. Um, but actually some of the best runners are able to get the sub 54 to make up like if you do if you don't get two R two points of RNG or two points that are based around RNG, but you do get sub 54. I mean, you've made it you've made it back already. All right, here we go. World five big big world here big world. 
Broken always gets way too risky in this world, so let's see how he does. Very nice fly. Bagler is not far behind here. Moving on to world five. Next point is in the next level five, two, falling down the shaft. Wow, very nice for Bagler. Incredible fly in there. It ain't easy, man. No runners getting any movements of four yet. Ropen's got that on lockdown. Oh, 281, what happened? He didn't get it. He didn't get it. What happened? The bagler got it. Amazing. Just like that. No lifeline yet, no movements of four for me, the runner. No movement of four yet. He's got the extra music box and the extra P wing. Movement of two for Bagler, not gonna work. Still no lifeline, guys. Yeah, for open using that strategy, man. He seems to really like that. You gotta you have to land on the ground regardless to enter that pipe, so. Might as well do it in a way that's most comfortable. These guys on the same level. Next level is very scary though. Oh my gosh, I thought he didn't make it, but very nice for Propen. Very nice. That That is by far the most stressful level, I think, in the tournament this season. No movement of four yet from either runner. Oh, Bagler just makes it. Propen gonna go for early P speed. He doesn't get it, man. He just cannot catch a break. Big Koopa jump. This is another opportunity for Bagler to come in and clutch. Another point here. Bagler getting a movement of four. That's one. Bagler gets the early P speed. There you go, guys. Froping gonna use his fire flower now. It's the risk we all are worried about. But he, he, Froping's good. He's fine. He's all right. What? Never seen that before. Bagler with another movement of four. Oh, wow. And he's forcing the Hammer Brother to go the opposite direction. Is Bagler going to get a full clear? World five. No way. Is, is he going to get a full clear world five? I don't think you have to fight this music box either. Oh, no way, dude! Holy crap. What an insane, like that is incredible. Very nice for Froppen there. Very nice. And now the Hammer Brothers just done with the movements of four. Froppen doesn't have enough levels yet, or doesn't have enough levels left uh, to get movements of four here, so.
And Baton Rouge is also marked down for second place in time, too. Right? As long as Bagler, like, it, it's still, we're still in the hands range. Right? It's still all about the hands right now. That, that rogue hammer for Bagley. But if Bagler uses his lifeline, that's what I'm talking about. Still has, oh my gosh, another one for Bagler. Wait, did Bagler get world four throne jump? We, you guys gotta go back and check. Did Bagler get World 4 Throne Jump? Oh, he missed it. Damn. I was, I think I was too busy talking about the race. Damn. That would've been clutch. Look at that World 5, though. Look at that World 5. Look at that World 5, man. I love to see full clear worlds. Full clear worlds are amazing. And Feropen is just annihilating, man. Feropen is playing extremely well, man. Not only well, but like also incredibly consistent, man. It's like he knows all the strategies that are going to work for him except for 5-5. For some reason, that world does not work for him. All right, don't lose your fire flower. He's going to go for the fire kill here. He's good. I don't think that... Uh, I don't even know if that fire kill is even all that much faster there. Yeah, don't go for it. I'm glad he got those two shots off. About 20 seconds behind. Let's see. Um, uh, 30 54. 30 54 entering World 6. 30 54. So he is. Um, he's about 10 seconds behind right now. For open getting bottom pattern to start with. Bottom pattern to start with. 30 54. 20 21 22. About 22 seconds behind. Nice, for open having a much better elevator jump there. It's exactly what he wanted. Bagler also got low pattern. Both runners getting low pattern. Easy to remember patterns. Getting low. Nice, Bagler waiting patiently there. Gets over, for open, doesn't get a marathon, that's nice. What are these Hammer Brothers up to? Does he get early P-Speed? He does not get early P-Speed. Dance around the idea of coin shift for a second there. Bagler uses the star, kills the boom boom. Nice, that's for open, clutches out 6-4 right there. All right, Bagler's turn, does he get a marathon? No, but he gets an, an unfortunate movement right there. Let's see what happens. Uh, for open, getting really good RNG here. He's gonna use his P-Wing. Bagler, get early peace speed. He's gonna save some time back from that. Very nice. Very nice. For open, gonna go for despawn strategy. He definitely gets it. He definitely gets it. Look at that. Boom. All right, let's see what happens here with the Hammer Brothers. He's gonna move up. That's not the one he wants to fight, but he has the extra music box. This might be the situation where he goes to the Mushroom House. I don't know, but Feropen has the extra music box as well. So regardless, they are... Ooh, Feropen is automatically safe here. Ooh, but Feropen gets low pattern. That's not what he wants. Bagler also gets despawn. This is a chance for, for Bagler to get another extra Hammer Brother. No inventory star, bro, from Feropen. Very nice. Nice, gets the duck jump fly. Gonna make getting P-Speed very easy here. Nice, Bagler gonna use his hammer, that's right. He got a little confused there, was probably worried about if he had enough items and stuff. I know I've, I've been through that before. Very nice duck jump fly through for both of these runners. Wow, that little turn back there too for Bagler. Clutching out, he is however gonna have to go back and fight that hammer brother. It is still very, wow, well, no, it's actually not possible. Okay, okay, okay. So Feropen is actually gonna lose some time here on Bagler because he does go in the pipe for some pixel manipulation. 
He also got messed up by the hill there. And oh my god, he could have collided those, but he didn't. Nice, he is in the clear. A little bit of a time loss. Bagler's got to get high pattern. No, Bagler got... They both got low pattern for all their Hammer Brothers. That was... That was exactly something that Bagler needed. That is so unfortunate, right? That is that is rough. No inventory star for Bagler either. All right, it's wall jump time. for open gonna go into the pipe. So it looks like when you move left one pixel, the hill slides you down a pixel, moving you back to zero. I think that's what happened. I've never tried that before, but I'm guessing that's that's kind of what happens. For open's gotta get first try wall jump here, and he does get first try wall jump. A lot of pressure I hear for Bagler, being as Bagler does not go for sub-pixel manipulation. So he is in an awkward 50-50 situation here. But Bagler catches up a lot here. Oh! My goodness! The stress, man! The stress! No way for Open gets it again. No way. No way. Oh my god, I kind of thought he was going to. Nice, Bagler's going to equip the mushroom. That way he's not going to have to get it later. All right, Bagler, you need this, dude. You need this so bad. Oh, the overjump. That's okay, though. That's okay. Use that. It, we're cutting up. Like, I don't want him to forget about his lifeline. Ropen does not have a lifeline. Nineteen seconds behind, that's one hand. That's one hand. No way for open gets no hands again, right? No way, dude. No way. Almost all of for open's races have been sub 54 as well. You guys should mark that down. You should write that down. All right, here goes for open. Now watch, I think for open wants to stand on that pixel and wait here. Nope, nope. He's doing what he's got to do. Very nice. Bagler not getting the movement of left with the subpixel, which means he's probably going to... He should go for duck jump. His subpixel is extremely low right now. Duck jump clip will work. Stand clip will not. So I think for open's gonna get a first try here. Yep. Yep. Now Bagler has to go for duck jump as well here. He's gotta go for it. He knows the strats! Very nice for Bagler! First try! Unfortunately, that's not the one you want to get first try, but... That is a good first try one. Alright, no bonks yet for Feropen, but he is gonna get pipe to pipe! Whee! Very nice for Bagler, he makes it over. No pipe to pipe for Bagley. Oh no. How does he feel about that? <laughs> they both jump at the same time. For open, quick snap turn back. 
That's fine though, he's good. Yeah, for open's almost fanfare here. Oh, close. He knows. No punishment though. No punishment. Neither runner can afford to get punished here. No box. No box, no punishments. No box yet. Gets the 183. Ah, I don't know, man. I think he moved a lot there. I think he moved a lot there. I don't think he's got the right subpixel. Uh, 183, very nice. He's gonna go back into the pipe. I still don't think he's got the subpixel. I mean, if you're gonna go to the pipe, why not just set up the subpixel in the pipe? That's why I don't. Why not just do that? Oh, he messed it up though. Oh, he gets second try though. All right, Bagler does get the 83. He needs to get this first try to take a point. Oh, no, they both missed. Oh, second try again. What is going on? I feel like Feropen's going to die here. Oh, if he hits that, that's it, man. I'm glad he didn't die, though. Glad he didn't die. Very nice for Bagler. No bonks yet for either runner. Bagler not bumping on the overall map, I don't think. Holy crap, man. These runs are nuts. Oh, no. Bagler got stopped there. He's not going to get P-Speed as long as he... Yeah, very nice. He knows. Like, no rush, right? No reason to panic. Very nice. No bonk for Feropen. And I think no bonk for Bagler so far. Very nice. All right, Bagler. It's time to use your lifeline, right? Hey, it's time to use that lifeline, Bagler. Come on. The joke's over. Joke's over. Joke's over, right, guys? Come on. Hand it over. Ropen's gonna or er, Bagler's gonna use his lifeline at like the door of Bowser. What a what that's the swaggiest way to use your lifeline on Bowser there. Alright, as soon as you kill Bowser, well you have to wait for the door. That'd be pretty hardcore swag. Yeah, I should go look at past messages with the bagler and see if he's already typing.
4357 one grab. Forty-three fifty-seven. Ten seconds. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four seconds behind. Bagler used his lifeline. So let's just give him some random point here. He got, let's say he got door four. Okay, so he's at 16. Bagler used his lifeline. Guys, all Bagler has to do is win in time. And he's got this. So for open two hands, Bagler none. <laughs> this is coming down to the hands. I can't believe this. I don't want for open to lose, but Bagler is losing. So I always cheer for the underdog, but I always encourage the, the lead to stay in the lead. I've, I've always done that. I don't care who wins or loses. If it were up to me, I'd want everyone to win. Everyone gets a thousand bucks. Yay. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. I think Bagler missed one throne jump. It pretty much comes down to hands. I mean... If Feropen gets no hands again... He can't lose. I don't know how he's supposed to lose here. If Feropa gets no hands, I just won't even understand. Like, we've seen more no hands in this season alone than any other tournament, matchup, races, randomize, like everything. Most of the time you cross less hands in randomizer and we've still gotten more no hands in this tournament. So Bagler really needs to catch a break with hands here, and Feropen really needs to not... Like, I would like to say Feropen needs to catch a break with the hands, but I mean, you got no hands last race. Come on. Come on. All right, he's nearing the end of the, the 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 tank or the ship here. This is when I start to get a little nervous. All right. What? 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 <laughs> what? Come on, Bagler, no hands, bud. Come on. <laughs> what is going on, man? What? I can't. I can't even understand. What is this? What is going on?
cow, man. Feropen just got two no hands in a row, and then Bagler got no hands. So there's art. There's been three no hands in tonight's match. All right, Feropen going for the combo, but unfortunately, there's no way for Bagler to catch up here in time. Like something ha would have to give here. Altogether, it was, no, it was two. Bagler only fought two hands in his race. Oh, Bagler still got the 289. Her open got the combo point. Yep, two hands out of 12 tonight. Nice. Bagler knows he's got to do the extra. Oh, the slowdown. Fropen doesn't get conveyor. Nice. Bagler gets the combo. He's got a star. Dude, if Ropen would have just got a hand, that's incredible. All right, what's the points here? It's tied right now. I can't believe it's tied. Is it actually 36-36 right now? <laughs> what? If they tie for open wins it because he got two sub 54s where Bagel only got one, right? Tiebreakers always based down who was fastest between both races. That's the best way to do it. Unless I just swing them and be like, all right, got to go for round three now. Yeah, it's it, the time has been in the rules for three seasons now. It's not a surprise. If Ropen loses his hammer suit in Bowser's castle, he'll lose the race. He'll lose. But I think it's very unlikely. He'll lose one thousand dollars. That's right. Well, he'll lose three hundred. Absolutely phenomenal here. This has just been incredible. Unfortunately, Holy crap. What an insane race. Insane, dude.
to 36, guys. Oh my god, dude. Or 38, sorry. 38. 38, sorry. 38 to 38. Wow, absolutely insane. And you wanna know you wanna know it's amazing? Feropin beat Bagler at his absolute best. I'm pretty sure that Bagler just annihilated two games, the best he's done all tournament, and you couldn't ask for that, man. Absolutely. Like, incredible. Yo, give a GG, guys. Give a massive GG to both these runners. Bagler's first sub-54. Dude, just imagine if Bagler, if, dude, if Feropen got one or two hands. Yo, the hands, dude, the hands got wrecked tonight. What an absolute crazy shit, man. Holy jumping, man. I can't even. I can't even. Yo, thank you very much for the 1,000 bits. Thank you very much for supporting the points tournament, guys. If you guys enjoy this and you want more seasons in the future, do not hesitate. You would ask to check the World 4 Throne Jumps? Well, Bagler didn't mark himself down for the Throne Jump, so he knows he didn't get it either. Bagler walks away with no money, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he walks away with no money. Right? You get up and you... you right, Teeks? <laughs> Teeks, you gotta get up and do a lap. A lap around the desk. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Thank you for supporting the points tournament. Dude, hopefully we can make enough season four, right? Season four, a couple months from now, hopefully. New points, new uh, new players, and more people, hopefully. But, guys, we got to end it there. You guys are going to have to sit tight and come back for tomorrow. For the second semifinals match tomorrow. Three no hands. Hacks, sir, quit acting like you're the only one who gets bad RNG. We all get bad RNG.